What's going on, everyone? It's Abdali here, back again with another exciting episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Master Trainer Battles. Today's episode is all about Meowth Master Trainer and the Persian Master Trainer. We're going to show you guys how to beat them with little to no candy investment at all. It's going to be awesome. For starters, I want to say thanks for all of you guys who have been watching my Pokemon content. Can't wait to have all of you guys on board for Pokemon Sword and Shield when that comes out. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. So, you guys may be wondering, alright, well, what's the deal with Meowth and Persia in this episode? Well, they're going to be relatively tough battles, but with some patience and perseverance, you should be fine. As you guys can see right now, we're in Viridian City. Viridian City is south of Pewter City and uh, north of Pallet Town, so you guys already know where this is at. So, the Master Trainer is going to be located right over here. And, I'll show you guys exactly what you need in order to beat this little youngster and his Meowth. So let's take a look at our Meowth and compare it. So check summary on Meowth here. Our Meowth is a lonely nature, not really going to help us out as far as stat boosts go. Uh, not really any candy investments at all. The only thing that you're actually going to need for this particular battle, I would say Fake Out for free damage because what Fake Out does is it's going to always hit first, but only for the very first turn of the match. So, that means that it's just free damage. So we're going to absolutely take that. And then, of course, Play Rough is going to be another instance of using that big damage in order to potentially knock out the other Meowth. I like Play Rough. I mean, it's okay. It's not as good as Slash. Like, if you had Slash, for sure, that'd be the better option other than Play Rough because, um, ultimately, Slash is same type attack bonus and you get the potentials for even more crits. Unfortunately, I didn't want to waste a, um, a heart scale at all, so we're going to stick with play rough. Uh, but anyway, sub and protect you definitely don't need. I just have those on for the next battle, potentially. So we should be fine with this Meowth. 131 attack stat is really good. And then, of course, if you notice Meowth, he's more geared towards a special defensive stat rather than the defensive stat. So that means that if we focus on our attack stat hitting the opponent's defensive stat will do a lot more damage than the other way around. Meowth has a very wide move pool, and he's got access to Nasty Plot. So if you wanted to go special Meowth, you can absolutely do so. Likewise, if you have an Alolan Meowth, you can absolutely use that one too for same type of attack bonus, um, Dark Pulse, or anything like that. But we're just going to go with regular Meowth in this one in order to beat it. So keep that in mind. There's going to be many different ways of battling this Meowth. We're just going to show you this particular one. I can't wait to hear from you guys in the comment section below on which moveset you guys use in order to beat this particular Master Trainer. Without further ado, let's jump on into it, shall we? So Youngster Ken bringing his Meowth. Now this Meowth is interesting. It's got a speed stat of 217, so a little bit more investment than mine. So it's going to naturally outspeed me. What I'm going to do right off the bat is use that Fake Out like we talked about earlier. Fake Out always goes first, and if both Meowths use Fake Out, then the, the uh, Pokemon that's faster will absolutely get that. So now that I did a good one-fourth of his health, we are going to bust out the Play Rough, and I'm just going to focus on damage. Now his Thunderbolt it's not stab, it's not the same type of attack bonus, so it is relatively weak. And my special defensive stat is a lot stronger than my defensive stat. All I need right now is two more play roughs and I win. So let's keep that in mind. Now he's choosing not to Nasty Plot up. He's got the moves Nasty Plot, Thunderbolt, and Dark Pulse. So we're doing pretty well right now. All we need is one more hit and, and we got him. So he just he was just focused on, on probably doing like parahax or something, maybe getting the paralysis, but luckily for us, we didn't miss a single one of our play roughs, and we did the damage. So again, uh, you can go with play rough, you can go with slash. I would not necessarily recommend payday at all, because <laughs> we're not making money off this kid. Oh, uh, come on, your Meowth is way too strong. You definitely deserve the title of Meowth Master. So, we earned that title of Meowth Master. I'd love to battle you again sometime as a fellow Meowth fan. So there we go. We beat the Meowth Master Trainer relatively easy. And we didn't need to resort to toxic stalling. So, now here's the thing, right? So, we've got our Meowth. And we're going to... I'll do a quick cut and we'll evolve him. He only needs 10,000 experience. Oh man, that's going to be a little bit... It's going to be a little bit of chancy grinding. But nonetheless, 
I'm very curious as to how we're going to beat the Persian trainer. And the Persian trainer is in the Team Rocket hideout. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to fly all the way to Cerulean. I'm going to probably catch maybe five or six Chanseys, get ourselves evolved, and then we're going to show you guys exactly where the Persian hideout is. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. So Meowth, 99. Here we go. Get that big Persian evolution. Looking good. You want to learn Swift? No. <laughs> no, thank you. All right. So I was just randomly catching Rhyhorns, Rhydons, whatever gave me the opportunity. Um, yeah, anyway. So let's get out of here. Let's go to the Persian Master Trainer within the Team Rocket Hideout. If you guys remember in your gameplay at this point, this is where you got to take control of your Pikachu or Eevee in order to like hit a switch or something like that in the rafters or something. That's exactly where we have to go. So we're going to fly over to Celadon City in the game corner. Uh, where you're not able to play any of the games anymore. Thank goodness. Right? Like, what the heck? You can get a gold bottle cap over here, too, on the ground. So pay attention to your Pokemon's tail as it thrashes left and right. And you may be lucky enough to find something. I already, like, looted the area. So I don't think the I don't think they're, they're going to come back anytime soon. But if you're lucky enough, you can get a, uh, a bottle cap. Or a golden bottle cap, too. Okay, so here we go. We are in this area. We're going to go as far down as we can by the stairs. And by doing so, we should be able to access the area where we found that one spot. You would think that they would get rid of these little spinning platforms after the Team Rocket hideout has been exposed. But of course, they have not. So luckily, we know the way, so that's exactly how you do it. Okay, so here we go. This is Persian. Now, let's take a look at my Persian, and you guys can compare it to yours, however you guys want to. Now, I've got a couple Persians. I got a really, really bulked up Persian that's at level 100 that I use for payday, and pretty much just riding around. You've seen him in the story mode. And, of course, we've got this one right over here. So, uh, if you take a look, we've got the moveset of Fake Out, Play Rough, Substitute, and Protect. Subprotect is stalling purposes. I mean, that's not really something that we're going to use outside of Toxic. Now, the... The Persian that we're going to be fighting has 320 speed. So if you really want to invest in Awakening Values in order to outspeed it, go for it. But we're going to try to do it without that. Uh, Hypnosis, Dream Eater, Nasty Plot, Hyper Beam is going to be the set here. So I'm I'm like looking at this. I can see, I can see Substitute helping us out, but I don't really see how Protect is going to help us out. Substitute can potentially allow us to um, evade the Nasty Plot, the Dream Eater, the Hypnosis, but that Hyper Beam is going to be pretty rough. So I'm going to get rid of... I kind of want to see what Fake Out does. Uh, I don't really know what Protect is going to do, but you know, we're going to leave it here. Let's see exactly what we're going to do. Um, I'll give this moveset a, a try, but I really think that Poison Stall is going to be the way to go with this one. All right, I'm the Persian Master. I seek the ultimate Persian. Hey, you have a powerful Persian, don't you? Have it battle mine. So this is going in 100% blind. Not really sure what's going to happen or how strong said Persian is going to be. But Youngster Sean, he's got a cat. He's definitely got a cat. I want to do that free damage with Fake Out because I feel that that's going to be a great way of uh, just getting the upper hand at the beginning. So we're going to do that for sure. And then I'm going to proceed to Substitute. I just want to... Oh, wow, that's no damage whatsoever. It's not even worth it. Okay, here's a sub. He's going to use Hypnosis. Oh, beautiful! Yeah, that's real good! Because he misses the Hypnosis. Hypnosis has, like, very shaky accuracy. So right now, what we're going to do is we are going to... We're just going to proceed to play rough. Now, he's going to Nasty Plot up, which is not going to be good for us. Uh, now that we're behind a sub, that's all he can do is either... Uh, either na Nasty Plot or Hyper Beam. 
And it only makes sense for him to do that. Oh my gosh, this is not good. This is really not good. We should have used uh, Toxic at the beginning instead of Fake Out. So he's got two levels of Nasty Plot right now. Uh, that's That equates to plus four on Special Attack. I cannot eat a single one of these Hyper Beams. But the thing is, is that I've got Substitute, so he, he is forced to break the sub with Hyper Beam and recharge afterwards. So that means that I get a free turn every time. Oh, that's so easy. Check this out. Boom! Big hit. All right, so now he's going to cool down. And I can, I can potentially do the exact same thing. And I can sub up. Because he's got a recharge. That gives me a free opportunity to sub. Now he can either Nasty Plot one more time. Or he can proceed to Hyper Beam. Now he only has five Hyper Beams. So keep that in mind. If I can stall him out of his Hyper Beams via four subs and one Protect. I think that's going to be pretty good. Oh, this is real good. Yeah, you know what? I think your average... I think your average Persian can beat this guy with Poison Stall. Because look at this. The only attack that he has is going to be Hyper Beam. And of course, Hypnosis Dream Eater, too. Well, I didn't really think about that. Interesting. Dream Eater if he gets the Hypnosis off. And I'm so lucky I'm not missing a single one of these. So what I could do right now is I'm going to go for the safe sub. Yes, I can go for Play Rough and then potentially KO him, but I want to play it on the safe side. I have two HP remaining. You can typically do four subs. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's do this. Here we go. Another Hyper Beam on the sub. Ooh, baby. Let's go. Don't miss. Ooh, big miss. Big miss. Here we go. Do it again. Oh, good. There we go. So we had we had room to miss one of them. But as you guys can see over here, if you had a Persian that was not level 99 by any means, you didn't have to. If you had a Persian that was maybe like level... Because look, I didn't take a single move. I didn't take a single hyper beam from him. So that means that you can take a fresh evolved Persian, first turn, use Toxic, evade the Hypnosis, if you're lucky, of course, and then uh, proceed to substitute and, like, attack him with any kind of hit. And you should be all set. But anyway, Persian Master, that one's real easy, guys. That, that one was... I can safely say that zero candy is involved with that one, and you can probably do it. If you're lucky on some rolls, you could probably do it with a fresh evolved Persian. Like, maybe, I don't know if you can find one in the wild in the game, but I'm sure you can do it. Uh, as for the Meowth, though, the Meowth one seemed a little bit more attack-based. Because you had to do a lot of damage on him, and if he nasty plotted up with even more Thunderbolts and Dark Pulses, I'm pretty sure it would have hurt a lot more. So, there you guys have it. We beat the Meowth and the Persian Master Trainers. What did you guys think of that? I didn't have to really switch up movesets. Uh, the movesets of Fake Out, Substitute, and Play Rough worked out. I'm sure that you can swap out Play Rough with Slash to have better results and potential more crits. But let me know what you guys did in the comment section below. Can't wait to hear from you guys, but that is going to be it for our episode. Uh, I'm very excited that we're continuing on with this. I can't wait to see what happens when we get every single one. Getting that Grandmaster title is going to be the best thing that could happen in this game. That's a true 100%. Anyway, thanks for being here. Uh, newest video on the channel that way. Watch the playlist here. Recommendations there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you guys can join us for every single day content of Nintendo Switch and even more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield when that gets released very soon. Of course, if you guys want to level up your support for me, all you have to do is click on the join button on my main channel page and become a member. Members have access to exclusive game nights and the Abdala Nation emoji among way more perks. So check that out. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care.